right, so here we are driving the GMC Sierra 2500 and go ahead and listen. if you can hear that too well but that's the front brakes and rotors it looks like it's time to start uh, changing them so it's the front brakes and rotors so we're gonna go ahead and get a new set and go ahead and throw them on so let's go all right so welcome back to the White House farm uh, we're gonna go ahead and as you saw or may not saw and heard uh, the front brakes uh, they're getting pretty bad uh, I mean I could definitely feel it and, uh, geez hey there all right can I go on Jeez. all right so we're gonna go ahead and replace the uh, the front brakes and uh, brake pads and rotors on this so let's go ahead and get started hey can we help uh, I don't know you guys always get in the way Oh, come on. Uh, we'll see you all off. Why don't you, uh, why don't you go cut down some trees for me and, and get the grass done? You can do that. Oh, all right. That's delicious anyways. All right, <laughs> let's get moving. Hey, Chungus. Oh, beefy boy. Alright, so I got a new DeVolt, DeVolt 20 volt uh, impact wrench. We're gonna see how this thing does, see if we can take these wheels off. And we're using a, a 7 8. Wow, this thing has some power to it. Ah, it's coming off like butter. Normally I gotta hook up the air hose and do all that. This is this is definitely a game changer. This is nice. Alright, so, yeah, this thing's pretty rusted out, a lot of grooves and stuff through here, um, definitely time to replace, and the brake pads, you can see them, they're, they're down to nothing there, so, definitely time to change them out, so, let's go ahead and get them off. Okay, and take the caliper off, uh, 13 sixteenths.
there wasn't enough room uh, and for the top bolt because uh, the brake line was there to get the impact gun in so I had to use the breaker bar to get the top uh, bolt out. Alright, and you can see how bad these brakes, brake pads were. So, yeah, it was definitely time to replace everything. And it was just on the one side. Yeah, this, this brake pad hardly looks worn, and that was just the inside. I wonder if the caliper's, uh, caliper's holding up somehow. This actually has a star bolt holding it in, so let's go ahead and get that. All right, so this is going to be a T30 to take that off. Alright, so that's out. Alright, got that sucker off. Alright, so let's go ahead and clean these up.
Okay, so now that we got these cleaned up pretty good, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of Never Seize in between each space here. Make sure not to get it on your bolts. And this is just gonna make it easier when we have to replace the rotor again in the future. All right, so this is the new rotor we're gonna go ahead and throw on. Got it at Napa. And there's the part number. So you can see the attack on the lower right hand corner. You can see Olaf striking, grabbing the paper, trying to steal it, and eventually gets it. Are you seriously going to eat that, Olaf? Yeah, I'm hungry. You are something else, man. It's got oil on it. Well, it makes it go down easier. All right, you're a weird goat. Hey, give me that. Give me it. Give me it. No. No, I don't want to give it to you. All right. Well, I know you're just going to spit that out in a second. All right, let's get back to putting this on. Once again, the T30, the little keeper bolt, go ahead and get that in. Pigs even, now the pig's even taken off with the paper. Jeez. Come on, Georgie, bring that back here. All right. I'm gonna spray a little brake clean on there. And I already sprayed the back, so the back's all set. And now, these are the brake pads we're gonna be using. And there's the part number for them. And supposedly they said that these were recommended to them, the fleet disc brakes, uh, for like heavy duty uh, braking and for like towing and stuff. So these are supposed to be really good. All right, so let's get into the brake pads here. Yeah, because that's like almost a new pad. Okay. So now that we got the pads out, you're going to need to take off the rubber caps 
on the guide pin back here and you're going to turn them out. Oh, he's getting you. Jeez. Get him back, Major. Get him back. Push him away. Push. Push. He's trying to headbutt you? <laughs> oh, he he's going to pin you. <laughs> All right, you gotta stand up. You gotta stand up quick. You gotta stand up. Stand up. There you go. Just like in wrestling, you gotta stand up and, and then move. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Never a dull moment. All right. So I tried to get the guide pins out, but that, they were so pretty much seized in there. In. I even tried the so breaker bar with it, putting the caliper back in, putting the bolts in so I can get good leverage on it, but it didn't work out. Alright, so that ain't coming out, and I just twisted this thing on there, so we're going to need to put a new caliper on. Um, this thing is, it's junk. So that, those caliper pins got seized up in there, and now I, the, the actual heads of them are stripped out. And uh, I mean, you could tell it was definitely having uh, caliper issues. So I really didn't want to have to go bleeding the brakes out, but that's what we got to do to fix this. Around 85 bucks at Napa, and then there's a $35 core deposit. So we'll bring this one with us. And now that I'm looking at this too, uh, the pistons are they're kind of on a slant. They should be even they should be parallel with these and they're not they're kind of off all cockeyed so that's probably what caused the whole thing either the pistons got stuck or the, these uh piston guide pins here they're definitely seized up in there all right so welcome back uh we ended up having to get a new caliper because uh, the other one was seized up and uh, it was wearing uneven on here. So, unfortunately, had to buy a new new caliper. Um, they're 85 bucks. So, if you need to get one, that's what you should expect. Uh, so, at this point, let's go ahead and throw in our new, uh, our new brake pads. And you want to put these little clips in first. This is what holds the brake pad. There we go. We got one in. That's what it should look like. And let's get the other one in. Once again, two more of those clips. Okay, so we got both new brake pads in there. And once again, brand new caliper, unfortunately. But we can go ahead and mount this on there now.
All right, now we can tighten those bolts back up. now let's go ahead and hook our brake line back up so for some reason it stopped recording but the new brake caliper came with new brake fluid screw and two new crush uh, copper washers that you got to put on all right so now that we got the new caliper on uh, the new brake pads the new rotor uh, obviously we had to undo the brake line so we're gonna have to bleed the brakes out so I got my trusty assistant. He's gonna go ahead and pump the brakes while I get the air out of there. So let's do it. And this is a 10 millimeter for this. All right, go ahead and pump it. Yep, now hold it down to the floor. Ooh, see, you hear the air coming out. Okay, go ahead and release. Okay, go ahead and pump it. All right, hold it to the floor. Okay, release. Go ahead and pump it. So now we wanna, thanks dude. Now we wanna go ahead and top off our brake fluid. And there's the max level right there. And this uses DOT3. That's what I'm putting in it right there. Okay, so now we can finally take this off actually let me grab a all right so now we can take this little hose bleeder hose off all right so now everything's back on everything's tightened got our two bolts tightened down the the caliper we got the new pad new pads new rotor new caliper what the brakes uh, let's throw the tire back on here all right, so we're gonna throw the tire back on. Before we do that, we're gonna take a little never seize. We're gonna put a little in between these. That way it's not, the rim isn't sticking to it. And that just makes it easier when you try and take the tire off. You don't need a sledgehammer like we did in the beginning.
impressed with this sucker. This, uh, this is amazing. It takes it, took them right off, took the bolts right out at the beginning of it, and then uh, I really didn't even have to tighten it to work it down. And this thing is pretty good. All right, so after all that, let's go ahead and hopefully just the rotor and pads on the other side. So let's get to it. Side. Definitely not as bad as the other side. So that's a good thing. So all right, we got to remove these two bolts, just like on the other side, and that caliper will come right off. And hopefully, this should be an easy one on this side. So as you can see, this side is what it's supposed to look like. Um, I mean, that that's, does look pretty good. At least this side, the caliper is not messed up. But still need to replace the rotors and uh, pads. Uh, that way we have even wear up front. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the pads out of here, get the new ones in, take this old rotor off, and put it all back together. And we're going to clean up in where the clips were, get any rust out. And just inspect everything, make sure you got no tears, no rips, no leaking. And just put this in here. All right, let's install our new clips. Let's get our new pad in there. Okay, so we've got our two new brake pads in there and the four clips, four new clips. Let's go ahead and take this uh, rotor off and get the new one on. So Jamie, there's, there's babies over there? Yeah. Okay, Major. There's babies? Yeah. No, okay. All right, we'll go check out the babies once I get done here. Little baby chicks.
hold it so it don't fall over. Got it? All right, got it? All right, I got it. All right. All right, also, same thing on the other side. While you're in here, might as well give this a shot of grease. Here, hand me these. Oh, yeah. Hand them to me. Thank you. Give me another one. 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 Is there one more? Yeah. Is it under the doodad? Here, come here. Wanna put it on? Put goes on that one. Yeah, goes on the other way. Yep. Oh, turn another way. Turn another way. There you go. Doing good. All right. That's good enough. Daddy can get it. Good job, Major. All right, Major. Good job putting the tire on. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get inside of it now, start her up, pump the brakes, and then we'll check the fluid again, and then we'll take her for a test drive. All right, so we're braking. Actually feels like we have brakes again. So we're all set now. Uh, got new rotors and pads and a new caliper on. Uh, as usual, uh, nothing works out the way you want it to. You think you're doing one thing, you end up doing a lot more. But now it's all set. You shouldn't have to do that for a long time. Uh, new caliper and uh, flood the brakes out. Um, so that's it. Hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.